Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, fighting the many enemies of nature. This is the job of the guardian of the forest, Ranger Bill. Pouring rain, freezing cold, blistering heat, snow, floods, bears, rattlesnakes, mountain lions. Yes, all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. I'm sure we all thrill to the stories of the old West. The days when men very seldom lived to a ripe old age because of Indians, hardship, and outlaws. Our story today involves a real old Western character who can recall even farther back than Stumpy. When times were rough and the Indians roamed about and Father said his prayers with his shotgun cocked. Some folks call them the good old days, yet I doubt if there is one of us that would like to live back there after knowing the labor-saving devices we have today. But we'd better get on with the story. And here it is. Houseboat Charlie. Houseboat Charlie is really an old-timer. He got the name Houseboat from the fact that he's been the ferry boatman across Misery Crossing ever since he was knee-high to a toadstool. Not only does Charlie run the ferry across the powerful and treacherous Shady River, but he lives on the ferry itself. Ralph, Stumpy, Grey Wolf, and I were just coming to Misery Crossing on horseback after being out on the North Trails for almost four weeks. Charlie's great-grandson, Junior, was there with the old gentleman as youth. Hey, Gramps, here come the rangers. Well, I'll be jiggered if you ain't right, Junior. That's Bill and his friend. It looks like they're pretty beat, Gramps. Yeah, I'd say you're right. Them uh, fellas have been out on the trail for quite a spell. Say, they got pack mules with them. Hello, Charlie, Junior. Howdy, Bill. Hello, Bill. <laughs> say, you fellas look beat. Been on the trail long? I'll say, almost four weeks. Wow. Boy, it's good to stand on my feet for a change. <laughs> <laughs> you're not just joking, Sonny. I'll gladly walk the rest of the way home. The muscles in my legs are shrinking from sitting so much. <laughs> what do you fellas do when you're gone so long? Oh, we inspect all fire lines. We look over all kinds of trees to see they have good health. We watch animals. We make count of animals in government parks and their health and actions. Huh? We inspect all tourist trails to make sure they're safe. And we do plenty of other things at the same time. Wow. You see, we got to make sure that the tourists will be safe from danger. That is, as long as they stay on the marked trails that we set up for them. Well, as soon as we get back to town, I'll send out men in small groups to begin their work of fixing things up and making improvements. Hey, you've got quite a job riding herd on all this forest. Say, why don't you fellas come aboard and set a spell? I got it. Good coffee pot and some fresh biscuits. Uh, how fresh, Charlie? Three days old, you old walrus. <laughs> That's the freshest biscuit you ever had, you old tadpole snatcher. <laughs> Let's eat, fellas. Bill, <laughs> Gonna have to put some of that there foam rubber on her saddles. <laughs> <laughs> Wise, Dumpy. Here, sit in this easy chair, Charlie's. Don't get up, old timer. I know what you mean. Uh, Charlie, we appreciate your hospitality. We really were trail weary and saddle sore. Oh, that's right. We really tired. <laughs> Charlie, where'd you ever learn to keep your houseboat looking so nice? Uh, why, uh, my missus taught me before she was killed in an Indian raid. His wife was killed by Indians? That's right, Ralph. I thought you knew. Most everyone around here does. Well, now that I think of it, I guess I did hear it. That's when they named this place Misery Crossing. But tell us the story again, Gramps. Oh, you've heard their story a hundred times, Junior. I know, but tell it again, please. Well, you fellas mind? No. no, no I don't. I'd like to hear it again, Charlie. It's been many years since I've heard you tell how this place got its name. Mm, I'd like to hear it again, too. Well, that goes for me, likewise. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie... I'll dream of the good old days while I'm listening. 
<laughs> you fellers must be plum tuckered to want to sit and listen to this. Well, sir, this is the only place up or down the Shady River that's any good for crossing. It's deep here, but the old river's kind of quiet and peaceful. So me and Cougar West decided to build a ferry here to take folks and cattle across the river. Now, me and Cougar knew that this would be a bad place for Indian attacks, because there's high canyon walls all around. Outlaws will get the drop on you, too. But it's the only place for 50 miles up or down the river where a man or animal can cross and expect to make it with a whole hide. So me and Cougar West went into business. And it came fast and furious. Charlie, uh, me and the boys, we got 500 head of steers back on the prairie. We want you to ferry the herd across. That's what we're here for, Marsh. Now, how much? Well, uh, what do you think, Cougar? Uh, I'd say $100. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I'm thinking. $100, Marsh. Well, I call that a right reasonable price. I'll save more than that because I don't have to drive the herd the extra 50 miles. In fact, I'd call that dirt cheap. Oh, we ain't here to skin, folks, even though we could. Me and Cougar are trying to build a business. We figure we'll make more money and have a lot more friends and customers by being honest. There's, uh, one thing, however. What's that? You travel at your own risk. Them rocks up there sometimes get full of rustlers and engines. Oh, I know that. I'll have some of my boys ride high just in case. Okay, when will you be here? The sun up. We'll be waiting. Well, sir, rustlers must have smelled that trail heard a coming. Just as we were about loaded for the first trip, the fireworks started. <laughs> Just more, and that'll be all for this, Lord. Okay, Charlie. Hey, Lord, look about the ridge. Okay, now, boys. Quick. Take cover, men. We'll all be killed down here. Some of you boys cover us. Me and the rest of the boys will drive the herd back to the prairie. We'll help with the covering fire. It's for sure, Ben Apostle. Go tell Marsh. We'll start putting his herd across the river right away, and this time we won't be stopped. Yep, outlaws was bad enough, but Indians was worse. Why, they'd follow a wagon train right down here to the crossing. Charlie, get your shooting on. Here comes a wagon train with the pesky redskins right behind them. Cast off the ferry so that we can get to the middle of the river. Right. He'd be trying to shoot fire arrows at the ferry. Stop talking and keep shooting. Here comes the cavalry. Well, sir, that's the way it was almost all the time. Rustlers, hold-up men, Indians, and the weather. Floods, blizzards, and what have you. Almost everyone had a miserable time getting to the ferry, so we decided to call this Misery Crossing. Thanks, Gramps. I like the part about the Indians the best. <laughs> and you're a red-blooded American boy, all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> right. Well, Charlie, we got to move along home. Uh, thanks for the story and the coffee and the biscuits. Yeah, thank, <laughs> you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, uh, bring your horses and mules aboard, and I'll take you to the other side of Misery Crossing. <laughs> you, you won't have to do any shooting, though. <laughs> Cats and dogs in the kitchen sink. And how? I not see it rain hard like this for a long time. Uh, neither have I. <laughs> I'll say. We got it just in time. I got it. Ranger headquarters. What's that? Well, how long ago? We'll ride out there right away and see if there's anything we can do. Right. Goodbye. What happened, Bill? 
Flash flood hit Spring Valley about half an hour ago. Uh oh. Did it clean the valley out? Yeah, it sure did. Well, let's go and see what we can do, if anything. Oh, we're probably too late. Whoa, Storm. Easy, big boy. Boy, it cleaned out the ranches of Spring Valley. Clean as a whistle. That sure did, and without warning. Flash floods are terrible monsters. They can strike any time with terrific power. Yep. There's no greater force than a wall of water 15 or 20 feet high rushing down a valley or canyon. Uh, too bad. Maybe we go down and see if anyone's still alive. Right. Oh, what a pleasant job this is going to be. We knew all the folks in Spring Valley. Uh-huh. Now, well, being an undertaker isn't going to be any fun, that's for sure. Well, let's get on with it. We'll be finished that much sooner. Uh, here's young Hollins. Is he dead? Yep. I'll lay him here with his parents, Stumpy. Yep. Yes. Yes, seven families wiped out to the last man, woman, and child. And their cattle and stock and ranch buildings gone, too. Boy, the thing must have hit with a terrific wallop. Yeah. Now, here come some rescue parties. Let them take these bodies back into town. We've got to ride and warn the other people that live in the valleys and canyons around here. <laughs> Hey, Wolf, Stumpy, you fellas ride west. Warn the people in Beaver Canyon, Apple Valley, Spruce Canyon, and farther on. Okay, we meet you back in town. Where are we going, Bill? We'll cover all the valleys and canyons to the east. All right, let's go. Come on, Storm. Let's go, Come on, boss. We're too late for Mellon Valley. Yeah. Come on. We got to get ahead of that cloudburst. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa, King. Whoa. Oh, oh my. Johnny. Oh, we too late, old timer. Oh, yeah, we sure are, young feller. You know, I couldn't figure out why Bill sent us east and west. With the storm splitting, too, and we got to get ahead of it. Come on, Matuti! Come on, King. Good boy! Man, we finally got in front of the storm. Right. You take the ranch on the left. I'll take the one down the road on the right. Sound the alarm. And then ride for the next place. Okay. Paul Revere won't have a thing on me. See you later. Oh! 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 Whoa, Storm. Whoa, fella. Easy, boy. Hey, what's all the ruckus about, Ranger? Flash flood warning. Get your family and leave the valley as fast as you can. Head for high ground. Right away, and thanks. Come on, Storm boy. We gotta cover ground. Boy, it's a good thing you had some men continue to spread the alarm. The storm and Bess are beat, especially Bess. I know she is. Storm's winded, but he's a young horse. Be able to ride hard after a brief rest. Where are you going from here? Down to see houseboat Charlie, warning that the Shady River is about to go on the rampage. Yeah, I forgot about him. You want me to go too? Or what you do you want me to do? Stay on the high ground and walk Bess back to town. Tell Stompy and Gray Wolf where I've gone. I'll meet you at headquarters. Okay. I'm going to give Storm ten minutes more rest, then head for Misery Crossing. Boy, if a flash flood catches houseboat Charlie flat-footed, he'll really be in misery. I don't 
care of, 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 of passing the muskrats about the flash flood bill. They don't scare me none. But uh, thanks for telling me anyhow. It's mighty fine of you to die down here just for that. Charlie, you're not going to laugh this off, are you? Why, <laughs> sure. I know this river like I know the back of my hand, Bill. Been living on it for 65 years. Perhaps. But a flash flood would sweep you right to your death like so much debris. You, your ferry, and your house would be gone in an instant. Oh, sure. I ain't seen this river at any time that I couldn't handle it. Young fella, I know every mood of the city from sun up to sundown, from from January to February. Don't be foolish now, Charlie. Get your block and tackle out and pull your ferry up onto the bank. Those canyon walls will make the flood just that much more vicious, like forcing water through a funnel under high pressure. Oh, Back in 97, when the shady flooded worse than it ever has, old houseboat Charlie kept right on running his ferry. No, I ain't afraid of this river. Well, I'm warning you, maybe for the last time. Get your ferry off the river. I'll help you. No, that ferry stays on the river. I ain't afraid of it, and that's that. I don't chew my cabbage twice, Bill Jefferson. Okay. I hope you won't be sorry. I won't be. I know this river. She ain't about to throw a flash flood or any kind of angry fit. I hope you're right. Well, I gotta head back to town now. I hope I'll see you again. You will. Don't you fret about that. You will see me again. Hey, Storm, have some supper. I'll get you some oats in a few minutes. Uh, Gray Wolf, how'd you and Stumpy make out? Oh, we do good, Bill. Not many people live in Valley or Canyon to West. Ground too poor. We get a chance to warn everybody before Storm here. No, that's fine. Well, how'd you make out with Charlie? I didn't. Stubborn as a mule. He doesn't believe the river will throw a flash flood, and he won't budge an inch. <laughs> Figures he owns a river, huh? That's about the size of it, Stumpy. Old oh, houseboat's been there so long, he's grown roots right into the ground. A flash flood can tear out the deepest roots, old-timer. You ain't telling me nothing. I ain't already seen them on two eyes for a fact. Are the flash floods over with? Yeah, as far as we can tell. Unless another big thunderhead shows up and dumps its load into the right places. Well, let's put the horses to bed and go back to the office. Here comes the weather report on the teletype. Yeah? What's it say? Well, fair and warm for the next couple of days. Well, we can relax then, huh? Well, maybe. Huh? What do you mean by that, Sonny? Well, there's a deep cold front coming down, and they figure it'll stop just about 50 miles north of Canyon City. Oh, Weather Bureau put on frost warning? Not yet, but it's uh, going to be in the upper 30s. Man, that's cold for this time of year. You said it. Well, let's let sleeping dogs lie. Right. <laughs> What's the matter with you, old-timer? It's even hard for me to sit in my rocking chair after doing so much horseback riding. <laughs> yeah, what's all fired funny? You and that look on your face. <laughs> You'd look funny, too, if the back of your lap ate like mine does. <laughs> I'll get you a couple of pillows. <laughs> now, there's a first-class idea. Where are you going to find some pillars? I don't know, but I'll dig some up if I have to fill gunny sacks with hay. <laughs> sure, never mind, sonny. I guess I'll live through it. I just want to rest this old bag of bones for a while. <laughs> okay, Stumpy. We go outside and let you take cat nap. <sighs> yeah, thank you, Great Wolf. <sighs> it's going to feel mine. <sighs> Well, there goes old Ripsaw Jenkins. Gramps? Yep, Junior. 
What's on your mind? I'm kind of worried about a flash flood coming along. Oh, now, don't you fret none, young man. Why, your grandpa knows this river like he knows you. Well, I can tell way ahead of time when she's going to kick up her heels like a bronco. Okay, Gramps, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, don't you let them rangers scare you, son. Oh, they're nice fellers, and they mean well, but they can't tell me anything I don't know about this river already. No, sir, not a thing I don't know already. Here come some folks that want ferrying, Gramps. Well, that's what they'll get. <laughs> they won't get their feet wet, either. I'll crank up this old engine and we'll cross over and take them out. Gramps, how can you tell by looking at the river that it isn't going to flash flood? Well, I just can, that's all. You know, on this river as long as I am, you'll know what I mean. I just know. There ain't nothing scientific about it at all. I... Just no. If I listen to Stumpy much longer, I'm going to lie right down here on the floor and go to sleep, too. <laughs> oh, I think same thing. <laughs> yeah. I know what you mean, all right. Oh, I'll get it. <sighs> oh, never mind. It's probably for me. Ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. Yes? It will, huh? Well, sure, we'll be glad to lend a hand. Yeah, yeah, right away. Goodbye. Yeah, what's up? The boys up in the fruit country are going to fight Frost tonight, and they want us to help them. We fly helicopter all night to keep air stirred up so Frost not get through. Right. You and I will take a big twin rotor copter up there and... Take shifts, flying it all night for them back and forth over their orchards. Ah, that good idea. Hey, how about Stumpy and me? Well, the old timer's done in. I think you've had enough for one day yourself. <laughs> well, I guess you're right. I'll get home and to bed right away. <laughs> good. Uh, wake the old timer before you go home. <laughs> and uh, tell Mom I'll see her in the morning. Okay. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> <laughs> we will. It'll be back and forth over the same area all night long. Now, let's go, Grey Wolf. Right. Ralph, don't let old-timers saw too much wood or <laughs> floor break from weight. <laughs> I won't. Uh, I'll carry it outside and stack it. <laughs> Using helicopter to mix warm ground air with cold night air, good idea. Yeah. Beats using smudge pots. It's only hit and miss. Slightest east breeze, a wind shift really upsets the apple car with smudge pots. Maybe we better begin shifts now. You sleep and I take the first turn. You think you can hold out that long? Uh, I think so. I feel like I fall asleep if I wake you up. Good. A couple of hours of sleep will fix me up fine. And you can have the rest of the night off. No, we take shifts like planned. You're not Iron Man. Okay. I'll see you in a few hours. Uh, Already? Uh, Poor Bill and Grey Wolf didn't get much sleep, I bet. Uh Uh-oh. I better get that. Hello? Yeah? Oh, man, alive. Yeah, yeah. I'll get right over to headquarters and call Bill on the radio. Yes. Yes, goodbye. That's the whole story, Bill. The weather boys figure the Thunderhead will drop its load right on the Shady River. How long ago did they call you? About half an hour. Did they say when the storm would hit? No, but I gathered it was already beginning to pour in the country above Misery Crossing. Okay. Get the old timer and head for the crossing. We'll try to get the houseboat Charlie in time. Oh, Bill. Yeah? Do you suppose Junior spent the night with him? I hope not. We'll have to try and rescue two of them. Over and out. A gray wolf, give this flying banana all it's got. <laughs> It rained 
bloody harm, Bill. Ah, you're not joking. I dropped down so I could see the crossing. That's uh, dangerous. Many ridges. We'll have to risk it. Okay, we go down. I can see the ferry. You're right on the beam, all right. Hover the copter now. Right. Huh, lower cable fast. I can see flash flood coming now. Ray Wolf, I'm going down on the cable. That way I can get Charlie into the harness faster. When I give the signal, lift us to high ground. I'll hang on to the cable. Right. You're going out plenty quick. Flash flood not more than half a mile away. <laughs> I still say you're wrong. Never mind who's right and who's wrong. There. Now you're buckled in. All right, here we go. Look below, Charlie. Great day in the morning. <laughs> you were right. We won't be able to call you houseboat anymore. Your ferry has smashed the matchsticks. Yep, it sure is. Well, I'll build another one. If you hadn't uh, rescued me, there well, there wouldn't be any more houseboat, Charlie, because cause I'd be drowned. I, I guess I don't know everything about the river. Thanks, dear. Yes, some folks have to learn the hard way, I guess. But Houseboat Charlie built another ferry and put his house on it as well. But he isn't boasting anymore that he knows all there is to know about the river. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger Bill! Stumpy Jenkins, speaking for Ranger Bill, and saying don't forget to hit the trail with us every week at this time for lots of exciting adventure with all the Ranger gang, Henry Scott, and Gray Wolf, and Bill, of course, and me, the old-timer, are all on hand from time to time to bring you the best stories we can find. So you tune in to Naughty Pine and learn the latest that's happening around the Ranger Station or in the mountains and forests nearby, or maybe even someplace further away. Because that young feller Bill gets into all kinds of situations and troubles and complications when he's trying to help somebody else. So you be sure to join up with us next week for this half hour of storytelling, and then you won't lose out on anything that's going on. I'll be looking for you, so don't disappoint me. <laughs> <laughs>